Belarus across the globe in nine languages, 24/7 online, FM and satellites. Radio Belarus International, bringing Belarus closer. So, Mr. Shkar, this year our countries will celebrate 30th anniversary of bilateral relations, and this is quite a remarkable date as our countries uh, have reached high level of political dialogue. And as I guess, uh, the visit of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is under consideration now to Belarus. Uh, our authorities uh, always emphasize that they are proud of their relations with India. And uh, could I ask you, what is the role of Belarus in Indian foreign policy? Uh, first of all, let me thank you uh, profusely for giving me this opportunity of uh, uh, putting forth my views uh, for, for your listeners. Uh, let me just begin by saying that uh, Belarus is as important for India as India is for Belarus. And this is, uh, this is nothing new. Our ties are historical. Uh, they go even beyond uh, 30 years. Of course, the last 30 years have uh, seen drastic uh, uh, improvement in our ties. And uh, uh, apart from the bilateral uh, factors, which we'll, I'm sure we'll talk in detail in different aspects, uh, please remember that we also stand by each other at various international forums. And uh, we have uh, similarity and commonality of views on many different issues, uh, global issues. And uh, there's a great amount of uh, sort of camaraderie between our delegations at, at various mm -hmm. international organizations. So I think it's, a, it's, it's a, one of the friendliest and, and most important relationships that we have in the region. Our mm -hmm. well, countries uh, have uh, also very fruitful economic ties and they are mulling over projects in different key sectors such as oil extraction, mining, also IT sector. What are the most significant projects in this field? Uh, well, as you rightly pointed out, this uh, the economic and commercial interaction between our two countries is multifaceted. Uh, there are certain areas which are uh, historically areas of cooperation. Uh, heavy machinery, I'll give you just one example, uh, especially agriculture machinery. Uh, that is something which, where Belarus's capabilities and India's requirements complement each other. So Belarus, as we all know, is is world leader in uh, uh, certain sectors of agriculture machinery, especially tractors, and uh, India being being uh, a huge country with large agricultural requirements. We have had a, a, a long relationship with uh, uh, Belarusian companies. So there have been traditional areas and then as you rightly pointed out there are new areas. Mm -hmm. So IT is is one area where uh, I think both our uh, countries are, are cooperating. We have IT professionals from India who are currently working in Belarus. Uh, there are other areas which are now uh, coming up uh, in terms of uh, science and technology. We'll probably talk more about it uh, as we as we go along. But uh, basically, if I have to sum it up, it's it's uh, twofold. The areas which uh, where economic and uh, commercial relationship have uh, has been going on for 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 quite some time. It's historically, and then there are areas with immense potential which are now coming up for cooperation. Mm. Going back to cooperation in science and technology, our countries uh, uh, announced a joint uh, SkyTech contest, uh, which will focus on artificial intelligence, uh, Internet of Things, and uh, cloud storage. So, could we expect more project uh, in this field? Yes, absolutely. Uh, uh, you, have, you, have, you have rightly pointed out that. And now, these are the areas which are actually at the cutting edge of today's technology, whether it's Internet of Things, whether it's cyber physical systems. Uh, and this is something which, again, both our countries are, let me put it, pretty good at. And uh, uh, there is uh, definitely a scope to enhance this and I'm, I'm happy to inform you that uh, uh, this year 2022 there are two major events that are planned one in March and second in the second half most likely around August September these are events which will take our scientific cooperation a step further our uh, particular scientific communities, government organizations dealing with science and technology are already working with each other. But then these are the new areas which have come up 
and uh, there is tremendous scope the, not just the scope i think there's a tremendous requirement at this point in time uh, for both our scientific community and our business community which deals with these scientific uh, 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 issues mm -hmm. to get together and these events will primarily work towards mm -hmm. that now what about cooperation in the field of green economy because uh, in his latest speech at Davos forum Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi emphasized the necessity to boost cooperation in this field do we have any joint uh, spheres of uh, interaction in this regard uh, this is another area which is very dear to our current leadership uh, as you rightly mentioned the honorable prime minister of India is today one of uh, the leading entities on a global scale who is talking about renewable energy green energy and uh, india has has given its size given its economy given its population mm -hmm. india has a, a very important responsibility and a role in in greening of the world economy and our current prime minister is is uh, completely dedicated towards this uh, we have set very ambitious targets for 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 this decade uh, uh, a huge significant chunk of our energy requirement by 2030 will come from uh, green sources uh, at this moment uh, honestly uh, there isn't much that india and belarus are doing together in this area but again this is something uh, an area full of potential and uh, we'll be more than happy if uh, the concerned Belarusian authorities, Belarusian firms, organizations uh, wish to uh, indulge in any kind of cooperative activity, cooperation activity with India. Uh, we'll be, as an embassy, we'll be more than happy to bring the two of them together and, and take up new projects. Mm -hmm. India is the third world largest uh, farm producer and uh, Indian companies uh, are working worldwide as well as in Belarus and it is worth mention Indian company uh, Cipla which has invested uh, more than million uh, US dollars uh, into farm production here in Belarus. How is it possible to advance cooperation in this field especially with regard to COVID-19 treatment and prevention? Sure okay so this as I as I was uh, uh, responding to one of your previous questions, pharmaceutical uh, industry remains one of the old uh, industries where our cooperation, just like agricultural machinery. Uh, there have been uh, Indian companies which have been working in Belarus or working with Belarus even during Soviet times. So uh, uh, the progress there is is definitely uh, satisfactory. But as as you rightly pointed out, that. COVID-19 pandemic has given a new dimension to this cooperation, to this industry per se. And uh, we, are, we are extremely open uh, to work with all friendly countries, including Belarus, uh, whether it is in terms of vaccine manufacturing, whether research on drugs, because that is an area which is very, very new at the moment. And uh, uh, I, I understand that uh, there are similar research uh, this is some, uh, going on in Belarus. And uh, I think... Uh, because we have a significant number of Indian students who are studying mm -hmm. medicine here. So those plus the pharmaceutical industry, uh, corporate sector, which is there, uh, there's already a foundation for further cooperation, specifically uh, focused at COVID-19. Uh, talking about uh, cooperation in the cultural sphere, Indian movie Squad, shot in Belarus, was released uh, last year, and I watched uh, the trailer of this movie. It, uh, it was quite unusual. Uh, it, it's quite different from the movies I used to, <laughs> to watch on India and TV or on the, uh, on the cinema. So, could we expect uh, more filmmaking projects? Absolutely. In fact, uh, when I arrived here about five and a half months back, uh, even before I arrived here and I was uh, 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 told by my government that I have to go to uh, Belarus, I, I started kind of exploring areas of cooperation where we can take this relationship, already a very healthy, robust relationship, but to take it even further. And one area where I, I thought that uh, I think we uh, have uh, potential, uh, uh, because we haven't unfortunately done much, is that of tourism. And tourism and Bollywood are linked. Uh, you would see there were a lot of uh, places in Europe which uh, uh, an average traveler in India was not aware of. Then suddenly one fine day you see a Bollywood film with a shot with a song shot in that country or a, or a scene shot in that country, 
and suddenly what you see huge number of indian tourists traveling to this this started with with switzerland in in 80s and uh, and then it came to other parts of the world uh, uh, and and eastern europe there are other places where a lot of these films have been shot and there is no reason why belarus which which uh, for me is one of the most beautiful countries in the world it has you have uh, 11000 rivers and and lakes you have uh, more than 40% of forest cover uh it's it's such a beautiful place that uh, it just needs to be discovered by Bo- bollywood and as you as you rightly pointed out uh there are already film units which have uh, uh, started working here in uh, in belarus and uh, i i sincerely hope this is again unfortunately one of those things which is directly related to covid because it's about traveling it's about uh, people moving from one place to another this is not something which can be done mm-hmm. virtually so uh this is on, on very high on the agenda tourism especially with regard to uh, bollywood film making in belarus is very high on my agenda at least so as the film is on the screen we expect more tourists from india in the nearest future yes definitely i mean film this film could uh, i uh, honestly i haven't seen the film but this could be one of the sort of uh, impetus one of the factors that will uh, drive tourism but we also need to advertise each other well uh, belarus in india and india in belarus because the number of tourists between our two countries is is frankly way below potential uh, and uh, i know that people in belarus travel a lot people in india travel a lot and uh, there is no reason because belarus is is not very far i mean it's it's if if you uh, have uh, if you travel via moscow for example it's it's just 5 6 hours and uh, I I think uh, the movie will definitely help but then there are other ways in which the tourist potential tourism potential between our two countries can be reached. So thank you very much for your interview. It was pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much and very kind of you to uh, to have come. I wish you and all your team a very happy new year, a very productive 2022.